things that we believe is very important when a young person is selecting a career choice or a life choice um, in terms of what they want to be when they grow up is career exploration. Not just reading about it in a magazine or watching a video on the internet, but actually walking in the shoes of the professionals that they hope to emulate or become in the future. The Velker Academy took tactile science to a whole new level for me and I was able to experience real science not only with my eyes and my ears but with my own hands and that is what really hit home for me and that's when I realized this is something that I could seriously see myself doing. What we're doing uh, with programs like this is we're really investing in the future of our profession. Um, you know if you go into a high school even the best smartest most accomplished kids they don't know very much about careers in science. They know about being doctors, they know about starting up their own uh, biotech company or starting a computer uh, internet company. They don't know very much about science. And so by us catching them early, before they go to college, before they start equipping themselves for their careers, we can show them what um, a career in science is like. I knew that I wanted to be a doctor in some sort, but I never really heard a lot about research. And so that was really cool to come here to the UT Health Science Center and see a completely different side of medicine that a lot of people don't get to see on TV or um, in the daily life. This program is focused around providing students a research experience. And with any health profession or clinical profession, Having that research experience and background is important because research is about uh, discovery. It's about learning and making new um, ideas and creating uh, the technology of the future. Well, you don't see this opportunity in very many places. I mean, where else do you see high school students working in research labs? Only, only here at the Health Science Center. I wouldn't have found this anywhere else. And so because Dr. Trapa and Dr. Pena and my mentor were giving me the tools and the, the knowledge and saying, yes, you can do this and I'm going to show you how and I'm going to hold your hand a little bit along the way and then you're on your own and I know you can do it because we've taught you how to do it and we have confidence in you and that allowed me to have confidence in myself. So this program gives high school students, which is a, at a young age, an opportunity to really explore and discover if this is the career field that they want. If they decide that this is what they want, then we arm them with tools to make them successful, competitive applicants to professional programs in the future. So we help them decide if this is what they want, and then we help them achieve that goal, we hope, by giving them exposure to professionals and experiences that most students don't have, even as um, college students. They're ready to dive in, too. It's not just an exercise. We don't just demonstrate for them. We really get them involved in the research, and so they take it seriously. Um, they work hard and uh, they contribute meaningfully in the lab, which is really unusual at such an early age. As a scientist, it's, it's um, some, of the some of the questions that these very young students ask really make you think uh, because they come from many different directions and it causes you to really think and put kind of what you're doing in a different perspective, in a different light, and it just sort of raises the kind of excitement and enthusiasm around them. The um, doctor that I worked with in my lab told me that research is kind of the foundation for everything. You can go into a clinic and know what you're doing, but you don't know where it came from. So having that research, you know where it came from. And that really helps you figure out kind of the long results and where things are going to end up. So that was really cool. We usually pair them up with somebody in the lab, either a graduate student working toward their dissertation or a postdoctoral fellow who's, who's here doing a, an apprenticeship. And we'll give the um, Velker student um, guidance in that way. So they're working with somebody who's already on the project, who's already participating, and who can teach them, who can give them concepts, who can have day in and day out conversations about what the research means, about how it's important to um, health and well-being of, of uh, humans, uh, and how we utilize animals in research, the uh, scientific concepts. So that degree of interaction and, and um, mentoring is important because they have somebody now who's sort of closer to them in age, who guides them in the research and who shows them how to do things. And usually the project belongs to that student or that postdoc and so, so they really have a vested interest in making sure that everything is done um, correctly. 
In my personal case, it's opened up the opportunities of just more research going into college because I applied to do undergraduate research at UT Austin because of the experiences I've had in this program. And it's an experience that you can take and say, I've done research, I've been there, I kind of know where things come from, I know the foundation. And that's really important too, I think, when you actually walk into a clinic because you know where everything came from. It's a lot more than just the educational uh, degree that they earn at the end of high school. It's about enrichment. It's about providing all the extras for them that they might not get in a classroom. It's about interaction with other students, with other peers, with professional students, with faculty, mentors. Um, there's a lot more that we can offer them in any kind of enrichment experience. And I think as a parent, that's what you want to provide your son or daughter. My husband and I, from, our, from the beginning, decided that the Velker Academy was something that we wanted our son to have the opportunity to commit to. We wanted him to be able to have this chance to participate at the U University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio at the Velker Academy. He has been able to have a mentor. He has been able to work in the scientific research community. And he has been able to work under the guidance and leadership of very special people and make some wonderful lifelong friends. With the Velker Academy, to be able to meet these young people and to see the excitement that they have, to be able to see uh, the staff, the researchers at the Health Science Center, to see the excitement they have, to listen to the young people give their poster reports, to hear the type of lectures that, that they're hearing, it brings it all very close to home for the trustees of the Velker Fund. And, and when I see these young people, and when I think of Minnie Velker, uh, who ran this dairy farm, and, and how she saved and persevered, and how now these young children really are a, a, a evidence of her own foresightness, it really uh, gives me a thrill, and it gives the trustees a thrill to see how this is happening. Really, we believe that if we set the bar high, students will rise to it. And what's been wonderful is that they have.